moment to moment. Uh, whether or not it'll be a full classic mode, we don't know yet, but we're definitely exploring a number of modes right now. Yeah, it's, and it's unfortunately not, like we, we have made a lot of core mechanical changes that actually make creating a pure classic mode in the vein of, say, Uncharted 2 actually quite difficult. Yeah, um, absolutely. Especially related to how weapons would be on the map versus now there are none on the map, you keep them, you don't even drop them. Um, there are significant changes that do make that a little bit more of a hurdle than it might seem. Any new mode is going to take a ton of time and work, and it's not something we can just do overnight and just make a new mode. Uh, anything that we do is, is going to take time. So, yeah, especially if it was a classic mode or something like that, it would be a significant time investment. Yeah, because it changes our core mechanics. That's a little more, than unfortunately, than we could do, given our deadlines. <laughs> well, well, speaking of modes and stuff like that, do we want to get started going through this and... Uh... I'll keep uh, feeding us some questions in the meantime. Yeah, absolutely. Do you want to start with trials? Well, it's going to be a little challenging given that uh, we're in a party right now, but I could probably you just back, back out, out and, and right now. just fire up trials. Uh, so trials, uh, for those who didn't read the blog post, is a mode where you're able to sort of experience the wide variety of new multiplayer mechanics we've introduced into U4MP. And the way this works is that <clears throat> you have... Uh, each new mechanic, you're able to jump into a level and try out. Uh, as you unlock, or as you complete a level, uh, each of them, all levels start at normal, and then you'll unlock hard for the next, and then crushing for the other. Uh, you'll see at the bottom there that you have a goal. Each level has a certain amount of cash that you need to accumulate, and the way you earn cash in the trial is by uh, using the mechanic relevant to the level. So we'll jump into one right here. Let's jump into the Chintamani Stone trial. And with each uh, trial that you complete on each level of difficulty, you'll be earning relics. And relics is what you use to purchase our, uh, our chest. Mm. And we're going to cover all that. We have a wide variety of chests for you to purchase, ranging from uh, chests that give you vanity items to chests that give you uh, special hero weapons uh, that we'll cover later. I'm going to go ahead and run with Chloe. What? Oh, yeah, oh, what? She's in. She has outfits. Mm. Love Chloe. What's that one preset outfit she has? Clockwork Chloe? Or is it? They're amazing. We have a wide variety of outfits for all our heroes. Uh, and those who are fans of Chloe will find the number of her outfits quite interesting. So we kick you off with a quick, quick description of what the trial is for this Chintamani trial. Uh, each revive uh, that you get with a Chintamani is going to be worth $450. And, uh, oh, what? I'm inverted? Mm. Oops. I got this. I got Jimmy this. Myers. So you, as you're participating in the trial, uh, this one is to revive teammates with the Chintamani Stone. Uh, we prompt you in ways to get you familiar with how the game works. This is on hard mode because it's inverted. <laughs> it is actually. Uh, Can you play trials with your friends? Can't do it in a party. Uh, it's... Uh, you know, one of the, the long-term plans is to hopefully uh, uh, get you to participate in trials with other people or, or some combina or some variety of trials with other people uh, actually before we release co-op, but uh, not exactly sure when or if that's going to happen. Yeah, I completed. All right. So I completed this trial. Once you complete it, you can play it again, but you won't earn relics again. At the end of this one, I earned 50 relics. And now I, it's a offer to me to play uh, the Chintamati trial on hard for 100 relics, or I can complete it on crushing for 150 relics. You have to go through hard first, though. Right? Yes, you do have to go through hard first. Um, and then in each trial uh, is sort of set up in the same way in that we give you a particular multiplayer mechanic to leverage to score points to hit the goal. So for people who are unfamiliar with all the new things we've introduced, or for people who are interested in trying out the things we've introduced without the pressure of real players uh, interrupting their moment to moment. They're able to jump into these trials and try them out. Also, those relics, you get a lot of relics from trials. So if you want to unlock a lot of stuff kind of early on, yeah. I think going through trials is a great way yeah. to stockpile relics and get a bunch of cool vanity items, guns, all types of stuff. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, once you complete all the trials, you're getting some, you're getting well over uh, 3,500 relics. Yeah, uh, it's so a lot. It's uh, You're able to open a lot of chests with those with that amount of relics. All can right. you uninvert? Do you, can you help us out? Uh, <laughs> I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. Yeah. So, Not a single person up here plays inverted. 
I want to make a shirt that says that. Are you inverted? <laughs> uh, so, party. We're going to join our incredibly talented QA staff who have been instrumental in ensuring that we've hit our release dates. Do we want to show loadouts or customization? Yeah, let's go over customization do? real quick. Just a, show like Just a, a question yeah. since we're going over it. Um, people are asking if uh, you complete trials, you still get money, even though you no longer get relics, or is any sort of rewards? No, no, the only rewards you get from completing trials are relics, and in completing uh, each trial only, only rewards those relics once. So uh, while you can play the, say, the Chintamani trial on normal over and over again, you'll only get 50 relics on normal once, and none of that cash that you earn in the trial carries over or anything like that. Yeah, the in-game cash doesn't carry over really in any way. No. Um, from any of our modes, it's it's all about the relics. Yeah. Uh, so here's customization. Well, let's look at Chloe, because we know there are a lot of people out there oh, who are very interested. Yeah, we're going to check out Chloe. Well, they they want to know if Chloe will be in the single-player portion of the game. But no they're going to have to play the Man, game we are not to uh, about find out more about that. <laughs> not guys. talking about single-player <laughs> at all. Until Tuesday. Uh, so she has a couple of skins uh, that you can select. Yeah. Woo! And, like, so there's so many customization items. Our character team absolutely went bonkers and just Bananas. went. Just, yeah. Uh, these are so great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but there's just so, so many customization items that are uh, just spectacular. One thing we've added from the uh, stress test uh, is the new category of uh, face wear. Mm. Uh, now we have a variety of items that you're able to actually equip on your hero's face and there's some uh pretty fun and interesting pieces in there yeah uh that one's one of my favorites the circular huh. sunglasses are oh but cool. wait for the real one the real one the yes. only pair of glasses you should ever wear oh god they're moving around like she's <laughs> looking yeah, through they're attached to her <laughs> they're attached to her eye joint and they oh. move as her eyes move <laughs> those are supposed to be funny. Yeah, there's, a, there's a level of magic that, that occurs with those when you're running around with those. That's I think a little I, disturbing. Uh, <laughs> uh, another new category we've also added are, uh, that one's awesome, the donkey rocks. Right? Yeah. Our uh, preset outfits. Uh, we've added, uh, these are outfits that you can equip on your character um, that are well, a, a preset. There's no editing on these. Once you equip this outfit, it, it's sort of that, that outfit is set, and you can see it replaces all your other pieces. On so your yeah, once you have a preset, you can't go in and change <coughs> individual items, but you can if you have a skin. Correct. So if I go back to the heist, Chloe, I can slap on a cowboy hat and face bandana. Yep. And then now one of my favorites. This is where stuff gets real. Good. <laughs> uh, so we have all our all our old classic taunts returning, all of which have been updated with uh, facial animations. You saw a bunch of these in the stress test. Oh, let me take off the mask real quick. Sure. Uh, okay. Yeah. So. Oh boy! All the classics. <laughs> So all the yeah all the classic taunts, and then we have dances. Man, we've introduced a number of dances for taunts. Uh, you know, a great time to use a taunt is actually when someone's in the down state. So you ensure that they see the epicness of your dance that you selected. And they loop, so and they, they just like go on and on. And one of my favorites, absolute yep. favorite taunt. One of my favorites. <laughs> This one's pretty good. Uh, we had a, a bug in the stress test that didn't let you interrupt taunts. That's been fixed. Uh, now any taunt can get interrupted uh, rather quickly. And uh, as you can see, the length of these would definitely definitely want to interrupt it uh, pretty soon. That, yeah, yes. <laughs> this yes. <laughs> Two versions <laughs> of dabbing. Of course. Oh, and everyone's favorite. Save the rest. Save the rest. Okay, no more, no more. Right. Okay, uh, quick, quick preview of the wait. of the props. Yeah, we introduced uh, a number of these in the stress test. Uh, so those familiar with that will see these and updated them with effects oh, too. Oh, that's right, that's right. So check out, we got a flash yeah. on the selfie. 
Which Robert? Oh, go by closer. Okay, right on. Right on Mike. Yeah, so we have we up updated him with the facts. Full bodied is now full bodied indeed. Look at that. Look at the. Look our at foreground that. team are just extraordinary. Yeah, so amazing. And this might be my favorite. This was on uh, one of the videos. Uh, and I'm going to have to go with. We'll show one new one new one new one. We'll show other than the make it rain, we should show the, the, the soccer jungle. We'll, show soccer. And then we'll save right. the rest for everybody okay. for release to look at. That's amazing. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so good. It's so good. All right. Q train going with the make it rain. Got to. Uh cool. Uh are there gonna be Uh, the characters that you currently see here in this image are what we'll have at release. Um, we'll, no telling if, if new ones will get introduced down the road, and we won't spoil the information right now. Oh, you're going to show Eddie Raja? Wow. Have to. Oh, okay. I get have it. Have to. I get it. All right. Yeah, we got to show Eddie Raja. <laughs> All right. Uh, I might as well show the preset outfits, too, yeah. Eddie Raja. Woo. Uh, edgy, yeah, yeah. This Hotness. This is my favorite. Yeah. Hotness. <laughs> Uh, Eddie Raja was not in the stress test, nor was Chloe, and their lines are superb if you are fans of these characters. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, this is great. Oh, uh, sidekick skins. Sure. So you can change the appearance of your sidekick, uh, which is pretty fun. Oh, well, you got to show the brood. Uh, one of my favorites, yeah, yeah uh, is the winter brute. <laughs> yeah, for those who didn't have the opportunity to read the blog post, uh, we were launching with eight maps on day one. And then regarding our DLC, our DLC is going to be free. Internally, we call it free LC. Marketing wouldn't let us call that for the, for the announcement, but we call it free LC. FLC, if anyone wants to start tweeting that, that'd be awesome. Uh, but yes, all our DLC will be free. So that means when we release a new map or mode, uh, everyone will get access to it the day it's released. And then any of our vanity items like you're seeing right now or any gameplay items that we'll be discussing in the future, uh, you'll be able to earn those uh, through gameplay as well. So no items will be uh, exclusively limited to you having to spend money to unlock them. Uh, put on a dope gun skin. Huh? My favorite? Oh, I mean, come on, anything that scrolls looks amazing. Any of the scrolling gun skins are. Uh, I'm gonna get to it. And just a shout out again, extraordinary foreground team for Uncharted Four. Thanks so a lot many for all the gun work, skins. guys. Yeah, so much work. Oh, here we go. You can change sensitivities. We have we have more options for controls than we've had in previous games. You can change the sensitivity. We um. We have several ways for you to change. I, yeah. I don't know if you want to go quickly poke at the options for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to controls. Yeah. Oh, so sensitivity and obviously inverting. If you go to controls, we have a few options here and ways for you to change kind of some of the button combinations you can use to respond to people's complaints from uh, the beta and the stress test. Uh, shoulder buttons and what you use to shoulder swap, zoom in, that side of the sort of thing. We have um, so many options. Yeah, we have some options things. for like say, aim assist. We actually allow you to tone it down or even turn it all the way off. Yeah, if you wish. Which is a big one. Uh, we have you can toggle or hold your um, switch between toggling or holding for aim mode. This is kind of an accessibility options. We edit some of those as well, and all of these are also in single player. There's your legacy uh, fire scheme. Uh, but go. people were definitely asking about, so you can use L1, R1, 2, AM, fire. Uh, yeah. So, pretty great. Okay. So then let's... That's um, it. Oh, loadout. Oh, my gosh. There's so much. Well, let's... Well, we're going to cover command yeah, first. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Let's get some gameplay first. We'll okay. use one of the defaults for now, and then we'll okay. get into kind of like loadout. Okay. Can Trevor... Can you hear me? Trevor, start up command on what map do you want to play? Uh, let's do command on auction house if he's hearing us. Let's just kick it off with a new location that no one's What? Seen. We're doing it. Wow. Okay, Trevor. Command on auction house. Spoiler alert. Uh, auction right. house is one of our larger maps. You haven't seen it. We released three for the stress test. Um, uh, auction house is going to be new for everybody to take a peek at. 
by far my favorite level in Uncharted multiplayer. Island is you're a close gonna, second. You're gonna say that publicly. You didn't say that publicly. <laughs> Auction House, my favorite, personal favorite map. Boom, said it. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, through all our play tests, this map in particular has resonated with a number of people. It looks incredible. It plays incredible. You have rope swings, sight lines, long sight lines, uh, exploding cars, <laughs> exploding Lamborghinis, like all kinds of amazing stuff. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with Covert. Do oh. it. So the command. Um, Chloe, Chloe, Chloe. I don't know if people again if you didn't really the blog oh, post we, we kind of detailed it there but it involves having three capture zones capture sites on the map and your team is trying to capture them as you capture them you get points for towards um, towards the victory condition which is 700 points and then we've this is something I think people have seen out there obviously so then we added a, a twist where as the game is going whoever is contributing the most towards getting those points or towards getting sites um, becomes the team's captain and as they uh, as you're chosen as a captain you get a few extra little Woo! buffs <laughs> and you <laughs> become worth victory points actually um, command points for the other team if they KO you if they knock you out. So your team wants to protect you. You want to stay alive so the other team doesn't get uh, any of those points uh -oh. back for, from, from downing you or from KOing you. And if you stay alive even longer, you actually kind of rank up as a captain. You get your buffs increase in power, and you become worth more points. So that was something we tried to add to make this mode a little bit more interesting. And it worked. Huh? Oh, come on. <laughs> mode has resonated with a lot of people in our playtest. It has, it, it, it focuses a lot of the combat, but not quite as much as something like Plunder does say. Um, so you do get people a lot closer to each other, a lot more, it's a little more chaotic. Uh, there's a lot more downs going on, a lot more, more gunfights going on in close range. But it also offers some good opportunities, I think, for, for coordinated team play to really kind of push and uh, take over a match. Come on, Quentin. So can you explain the, oh, so what's this? What's this skull? There we go. Okay, so someone on our team was just, okay, and then eliminate it. <laughs> 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 <Yeah, then. laughs> and uh, that made him worth 20 points for the other team. He got a few bonuses. The He's a little harder to, to knock out when he's been downed. He can buy things a little more efficiently, and he can revive his teammates better. So you want to stick near your team so that you can be brought back up when you're down, or you can help bring people back up. And at the same time, it's a good opportunity to use all the cash you've earned for purchasing, you know, mysticals, your gear upgrades, all of that. But to get it, you do have to be contributing to the game mode. And that doesn't just mean shooting people. you got to actually be on the sites. Oh, boy, revives. Oh, there's their captain. Get him. Oh. Oh. oh! Wait, 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 wait! Highlight reel. Boom! 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 Highlight boom! Whoo! Feels good. <laughs> uh, you want to go over, Robert? Maybe some of the things that the enemy team gets uh, when they're tracking down a captain, like how the yeah. So when you are a captain. Uh, the downside to being a captain is that the other team gets a little more information about where you are. Uh, and that changes as you become a more higher value target. Uh, so when you are just starting out, all that happens really is if they see you on the screen, there's the skull next to your, your name tag. It just shows like you that. off. Yeah, like that. So it just kind of points you out amongst the crowd. Uh, if you get to be a rank 2 captain, a second level captain, you now are always visible as a red dot on the enemy's mini-map. Uh, and then if you get all the way to rank three, then you are visible through walls. It's a mark. It's permanently over your head. They always know where you are, and uh, they'll probably be coming for you pretty hard. That's the hardest one to stay alive, but the longer you stay alive at rank three, um, then no one oh. else on your team... You can only have one captain at a time. So if you're still alive, no one Oof. else is going to be designated a captain, which means that the other team's just not getting points for downing captains. For, oh, for yeah. Captains out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Feels good. <laughs> Feels so good. Jin, making it rain. What's up? Next level. Let's go. <laughs>
Definitely don't run away from your team when you're the captain. Yeah, if you're the captain, you gotta stick with your team because you're gonna get hunted down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. And you become a good distraction. If they're hunting you down and, and one or two members of your team are, are out getting sights, then then you're, you're doing a good thing. All right, so who's the, who's the captain here on your team? It's behind you? Uh, Jordan. Oof. Oh, oh, man, oh. amazing! <laughs> that was some good work. That was some good work. Okay, so Jordan just became rank two. So, so he's, he's worth 40 he's points. He's worth 40 points now, and team. rank three is worth, worth 60. And he gets more and more His buffs benefits, have, have right? all increased in, in strength. But now, again, he's visible at all times on the mini-map of the other team. So now they can start hunting him down. So I want to protect him, right? You want to protect him. It's a strategy. It's not a unique icon. It's still just a dot. It's the same dot that you get when you're shooting or, or when, like, a, a staff is up. Uh, but if since it's always up, they can kind of figure it out. Uh-oh. Getting a flank from, from oh, two ways. What a lovely thing you did. <laughs> Whoo, Charles Hahn, making it rain. <laughs> this is this is Gwen's favorite thing to do. Stand in a sight, make it rain. Knock you down, make it rain. Where are they? Where Spawn, are they? make it rain. Why not? It is Come on out. Come on out. How often we want to taunt now with all these new taunts? Uh, not as of yet. I mean, the the sights are always in the same spot. The dynamic element is who becomes. Uh, the captain really he becomes kind of a mobile objective but uh, and, and sorry I don't know if anyone heard the question from Ronnie but the question was are there any dynamic elements on the map uh, one thing we're considering at some point maybe is is adding the randomized chance for different layouts of, of command sites but we want to make sure that they were balanced and good locations How so right now they have interrupt one set of locations per map my rain making oh there we go there we go. This is a pretty close match. Oh, there's the captain. Sorry? Uh, Arnie's a, someone had asked about customer private matches. We do have uh, custom matches. We do have private matches for Oof. all game modes. Man, I keep reviving him. We have a... Um, oh, you know what's coming. You know few... what's coming. <laughs> 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 We have a few options um, for your custom matches to make it a little different at launch, and then we're going to be updating oh. what's available to you. Well, that person. You're, you're so <laughs> bad. There is no way. There is no way. Oh. And we'll be updating the options that are going to be available to you in private matches um, throughout the game's lifespan. But right now. We're coming off with a pretty standard set of, of options for all the game modes. Okay, I'm going to head to B because a lot of my team is there. Your team's doing pretty well. I'm uh, going to do something devious and see if this works. You're not winning by a ton, but right now you got most of the sites. I'm going to try to keep an eye on that A site and detonate it if I can. And one thing, yeah, one thing we really liked about the objective modes versus our um, team deathmatch mode in terms of how our core mechanics interact with it, is it really changes how a few of the gear pieces work. It really changes how some of the how important some of the mysticals are, and that was really interesting to us. Oh Something boy. we really like. Oh boy, that was a good throw. Yeah, particularly the mystical stuff. It was it's interesting to see people lean more towards maybe using the Wrath of Indra right now than than the Wrath of El Dorado. The. Uh, Whatever it's called. Ooh. Nice headshot. Wow. Wait, what's that? The question. Oh, I'll get to oh, The question okay. is um, relating to U2, U3, are we bringing back anything such as the lab playlist or any of the maps from those modes? Oh, there we go. snap. I know you want, you want to tackle that one? Uh, yeah, I mean, listen, we're, the, the lab was something that was obviously successful with people in the community, and it's something we're definitely thinking uh -oh. about right now. Trevor's in trouble. Um, whether or not we'll be bringing it no back is TBD, but it's definitely something that we still want to do. 
Oh my god. Uh, as for any uh, <laughs> maps from previous games, we're not talking about any new maps quite yet. Um, god damn Hunter. But I'm pretty sure we're here pretty soon we'll be talking about some of the new content that'll be coming out in our first DLC drop. He wants to talk about it so bad he can hear it. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, I'll and you, take it. Another thing, um, as you're playing the mode, you get more in-game cash for uh, playing. Did you say cash? I'm going to make it rain. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're not. Uh, you get more in-game cash for, for kind of playing around the sites and for playing, interacting with the, the sites. Oh, boy. If you Look get at this. Down Look at KOs this. near them, you get more cash versus just running Lone Wolf and kind of ignoring them. You won't get a ton of. Get it? Um, yeah. Brute shut down. Nice. Money to spend on your store items. We really wanted to encourage people to focus on the objectives, but we didn't want to, like, oh, force it. We just wanted to Way really encourage too hot it. In there. Sorry. Uh, does it affect the warp right now, or is it just the speed when you're oh. out of the warp? I have Indra. The question was, I have Indra. Does it affect your Jin warp speed? I forget uh, right now if it affects the actual warp. It slows you. Yeah, it slows you it down. Does? Yeah, okay, it slows yeah, it slows you down. Yeah. Because <laughs> do it. And another thing we. We found that we like about this mode. Oh, you're not getting any points. Yeah, this is a little scary. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Is that? Yeah. Once you get <laughs> close to the end, if there's captains up, it becomes a very tense moment because you don't want your captain to to get knocked out. You don't want your captain to get killed, and, and then you suddenly lose right at the end. It, it's much more high tension. One of the things we notice with just having the points around is at some point you kind of get like I'm holding one point, you can't get it. We're just sitting there, and the game's effectively over, but you got to wait another minute. It's, that was not exciting to us. So that's n another nice thing that captains kind of bring is a lot more tension at the end of a match. Simple question. Uh, can you activate mysticals or explosives while downed? No, you cannot activate mysticals or explosives while downed. Uh, mm. Well, the C4 upgrade. Uh, there is an upgrade to one piece of gear to the C4 where when you're downed, if you have upgraded it to level two, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, you can do it while you are in the down state. It, it makes a nice little surprise for people. But that's that's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you're doing for people like to play Lone Wolf or to play in this mode play like? Uh, if you want to play Lone Wolf without running into teams, uh, we recommend staying in the non-ranked version of TDM. A lot we. We notice, especially with you know, just talking to people and just getting feedback, we think a lot of people want to bring their teams and friends into ranked. So you'll have a better time if you're just a lone wolf player trying to play casually, playing in the non-ranked modes. There's, n but, but there's no there's no solo playlist right now. Right. No. Yeah. There's, there's no, no solo playlist. No mercenary. Right now. No party playlist. At the moment. Well, so one of the major things that have changed by comparison to the stress test is that we've. Uh, Change the number of things of how the loadout system works and how you yes. actually unlock gameplay items. Um, so everything is right now unlocked, so we can just go through some of the yeah. loadout go options that we have added. Uh, a big one that we've added is gun mods. I mean, that was a big thing in Uncharted 3. We wanted to bring them back, and you know, we really like the gun mods. A lot of things that might have been boosters, but that we didn't maybe want multiple levels of, or things that um, affect gameplay in kind of specific ways they want to be more limiting with became gun mods and those mods are all available at loadout point increases for your uh on top of your base one so the base gun starts at five loadout points which is something we've changed all the guns um all the long guns now are five or six loadout points and the pistols are actually cheaper we wanted to encourage and allow people to play pistols only and have more of a reward for that in slotting out boosters and slotting out purchasable items. Yeah, I think that was a really uh, great move because now, just yesterday, I was trying a pistol-only loadout with a hero pistol, nice. and it was awesome. And hero oh, weapons have, have made a return. They are still two uh, of the base mods onto a gun, and they are much more expensive. Um, we're still doing some final tweaking of the, the loadout point cost, but to start us off, so we have some... Weapon mods that will unlock as you, you use the weapons, yeah. but we'll get to that a little more later, I think. Uh -huh. um, and again, some of these are things you might have seen in previous games. So 
Aim Strafe Speed is kind of like Fleet Foot, but we didn't want multiple levels of it. We didn't. We wanted to be more controlling about it, so it, it's now a weapon mod. And it's tweaked per gun. Tweaked per gun. Uh -huh. It comes in. It, it eliminates all the other ones. So it was a way for us to get these things in the game. Uh, there's some really powerful ones that are, are these ones all higher loadout point costs. And then when you get into the hero weapons, there's not every combination available. It's just the ones we thought were most balanced. We might add more later on down the line. But you'll have a selection of hero weapons, again, that are two mods worth more loadout points uh, that you can unlock in different ways. And that applies to pistols as well. You get some very nice mods or hero weapon mods, uh, hero weapon pistols that will be available for you to, if you want to play that pistol only loadout, have a more powerful weapon that might still be cheaper than having mm -hmm. a full long gun. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go to like something like Pistole. And some of them are a little more interesting, like on the Pistole, if you want a third shot, that's going to be pretty expensive. Mm -hmm. um, but it does, some of these really do change how these weapons work, or like the, our, our Tri-50 Cal, our sniper pistol, also has, can add a shot. That's a big change. Pretty and big deal. Yeah, so some of these are pretty significant for how the weapon works. Uh, then on top of that, we've added... Do it. Mm -hmm. Do it. Mods for our... Yeah. Let's, let's get a few of these out. So... Mystical mods. Mystical mods have been added, so you can do the same thing, a mod that increases the loadout point cost of your mystical and increases the cost of your in-game in -game purchase, in -game how much purchase. it costs in-game. Yeah. Um, and these do pretty much what they describe in... Uh, you can see it over to the side. And then on top of that, sidekick mods. You can make your sidekick a little different, a little faster movement. He can highlight targets as you shoot, a little more accuracy. And one thing that might be nice for people to something that was requested from stress test and beta uh sidekicks do not regenerate health by default now if you want your sidekick to regenerate health you have to pick a sidekick mod so it's going to cost more in game cost mm -hmm. more let out point mm -hmm. cost yeah you gotta pay for it gotta pay for it otherwise they'll be able to be taken out just through attrition uh that was one thing that we heard a lot of people talking about wanted to address um Heavy weapons and gear do not have mods. Heavy weapons are just the heavy weapons. And gear, you know, you level up still. You you upgrade in match by spending in match cash. That's still the same. That hasn't changed. Um, uh, one thing you might notice at the end of these is loadout points at the end of each kind of subset of our menus. You will get to that a little bit later when we're talking about progression. But that's this is now how you increase your capability for... Um, Expanding your loadout is by unlocking things within the different subsets of our of our loadout. And then with boosters, I don't know if you want to chat about this a little bit. You did a lot of work here. I think it's... Uh, sure. Uh, yeah, so we added uh, a lot of uh, old old favorites and some brand new boosters uh, to Uncharted 4. Um, they have multiple levels. Some have two, some have three. Um, they're pretty powerful. They're, they're, they're rich. They're definitely pretty powerful. There's a lot of uh, different uh, supports, a lot of different play styles uh, with these boosters. You can go full stealth. and Got uh, much more stealth options now. Yeah, a lot more stealth options. There are different ways. You have your standard marking uh, on L3, um, pretty similar to factions. And uh, also, we have some really cool new boosters. So Parting Gift is uh, a booster that Every time that uh, what is it your allies uh, have, get KO'd, kind of near you. Well, this uh, one is when you've been knocked. Off. Is yeah, it when you've been KO'd? Yeah, yeah. This yeah, one is yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. So this is yeah leaving. I'm getting confused. Yeah, this is one is is leaving ammo and treasure, which is just in game cash uh, for your allies. Uh, so as you get downed, you're leaving little treasures on the map that your allies can pick up and help kind of boost the team. So you, you want it to play them. support, but you're kind of an aggressive player. Mm -hmm. You don't really play a lot of support. You want to help your team out. We try to add some more options for you there. And then the flip side of that is when you get down, <clears throat> it's a booster called Endowment. Uh, when you get downed, allies. Uh, when your allies, when your get, allies, allies down. get down, <laughs> sorry, That's all right. uh, you will. Uh, you can find treasures for yourself. Uh, and also when your sidekick gets down. So if you're a guy that likes to call in a lot of sidekicks, They'll eventually die. Uh, they'll drop a little treasure that is uh, worth some in-game cash. So and you really need to be pretty close to your team for this to work. So mm -hmm. it's it's some way it's more personal for you. It's helping you out, making you a more powerful you know fighter. But at the same time, you still have to be near your teammate. Yeah, definitely. Um, and yeah, so here are all the boosters. There's a ton of them. Uh, we have Ghost, 
which is uh, just makes your, your sound uh, much quieter, and your charge melee uh, is near silent. Um, it's super quiet, so you're able to sneak up on people, charge your melee without them hearing it, and take them out. Uh, it's awesome, awesome booster. Uh, and if you're a really aggressive, a salty, lone wolfy style player, and you want something for you, a lot of that is in the weapon mods. So, mm -hmm. you know, make, get your hero weapon. They're expensive. They're going to be a huge chunk of your loadout point cost, but that's another way for you to really you know, expand on your play style. I think we really wanted to allow all sorts of play styles to kind of have, have a home here. And this is the deepest loadout system we've ever made. Yeah. There's a ton of different combinations. We're not even sure how many at this point, but... No, we're not. <laughs> it's absolutely. That's something I asked Robert Ryan the other day. I'm like, what What do you think? Could we calculate the number of combinations in the loadouts? And he was like, no. Please, no. It's going to take me hours. There's no way. It's it's so vast and so deep. Um, the 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 possibilities are uh, just really, really extensive. We're uh, excited to see, I think, what people really come up with. They're going to be paying a lot of attention those first few weeks yep. to make sure we didn't miss anything. But um, I think we did a pretty good job, actually. These, we've, we've been trying to find broken combinations. We haven't been able to yet, but uh, Cover it's Brawler real deep quick. as hell. So Brawler is amazing. So level one, this one's legit. yeah, your recovery time. So if you charge melee... And you swing and you miss. You actually typically have to kind of sit in that animation for a bit. And it takes a bit to recover from that. And then, like, either roll or jump or whatever. Well, this allows you to, like, swing, miss, and, like, roll out of it right away. Um, so it's super helpful for um, wanting to charge melee people a bunch. And then um, you start to get uh, gear, uh, your, uh, gear recharge. So if you down an enemy with a charge melee attack, um, you're... So it's a melee down. Yeah. So, okay. Sorry, it's far away and it's a small print. <laughs> so you're, every time you melee down an enemy, not just charge melee, any type of melee down, you get a gear resupply by 10 seconds. So it will come back faster, which is great. And then also, um, if you down an enemy with a charge melee, the next charge melee attack charges super fast. So typically when you have to charge your melee, you have to swing your rope a couple times and then uh, bring it up above your head. Well, with this booster, you successfully down somebody with charge melee, and then you hit L1 again, you'll swing and charge your melee like really fast, almost like less than half the time, super yeah, fast. Yeah, it's, it's uh, so you're able to charge melee people, uh, multiple people in a row really quickly. So this uh, is also, so it seems mostly like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm a brawler, I'm in, I'm punching, but it's actually really good for stealth loadouts. If yeah. you really want to yeah. like sneak up behind someone and wipe out a team, this is one of the things yeah, you want to do. You roll use. around with this with a silencer, you're rocking and rolling. Yeah, stealth this is, action. yeah, this is the perfect uh, booster for those flank uh, players that like to flank, like to stealth, like to get behind the enemy team and take them out silently really quickly. Um, this is the booster you're going to want to use. Uh, Anything else? Let's, let's make a loadout. Let's let's put it all together. Let's make well, something gonna, for Robert. You want to play? You're gonna play next. Why don't you? I got next. Yeah, do your thing. <laughs> all right. How are we gonna roll with this? Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna keep things simple. Actually, no. Don't I'm keep gonna, it simple. Oh, go okay, crazy. Okay, we're gonna go island. Trevor, we're gonna go island next. So, okay. so the XCR will eat faces. Whoa. And then let's go. Do the, do, the, do it. No, go one more. Is that it? No, one more. This one? You think this one? No, keep going. Keep going. going. That one. Yeah, let's keep that that one. Okay, okay, we'll go with Nadine's XDR. Huh? Maybe. I didn't hear that. They, they want a skin of you. Q train? They want we a Q can put you in a, little, in a little conductor outfit, and you can just <laughs> choo choo. Could be a little taunt, a little smoke could come out of your ears. It'd be so I sweet. wouldn't mind a Q train taunt. That would be pretty special. I'll talk to the animators let's after this. Go ahead this. and go with Indra, and then we'll go down with slow down increase. So people have been asking about leveling, loadouts, um, progression. We are going to discuss that a little bit later. We wanted to show off everything kind of that we've added first. But um, you can see on the side it says unlock progress on the bottom of all these items, and it says unlock. We'll go over how you actually get that build. But it is different than anything we've done in the past. Uh, it does involve using the items a lot to unlock things with any of that category or on the item itself. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll get to that soon, maybe after this match. So what Robert's done here is he's using Nadine's XCR, which is eight loadout points. Uh, that may change by release, just to let you know. Loadout points are still uh, a work in progress. But that's a huge chunk of his loadout <laughs> points. 
dumped into a hero weapon, which really limits the rest of his loadout. Um, so you have to make some really tough choices if you want to go with a, a really powerful weapon. All right, let's roll with this. I like it. You love your C4, man. Man, love it. Yeah, uh, some C4 action with some interest of Trinity. Yeah, it's amazing. Right, let's go. So uh, you're playing Command? Up, Command. Command on Island. More, one more Command. <clears throat> it's the new hotness, new game mode. Did you go over? I wasn't listening too close when I was playing. Did you go over everything? I think so. In the game mode? Yeah, command's been covered. If anyone's got questions, this will be a good time to ask while he's yeah. playing. Command is a pretty uh, complex, pretty deep uh, game mode that has a lot of nuances, a lot, uh, you know, a lot, yeah. a lot of like, as you're playing, you know, what is the best strategy? Stick with teammates, yeah. cover the captain capture another point, defend another point. There's so many yeah. different uh, when, decisions to make on the fly. And then when you become captain. Oh, boy. Yeah. That's what, what's your decision-making process there. Yeah, because you start to get benefits from... But you also become a target. You yep. become a target, but you also become more powerful. Yeah. And so you have to make a decision. Do it. Uh, Do it. Pick, pick whoever you want. I whoever gotta, you want to go with. I got to go with Talbot. Oh, boy. Talbot's lines are just he's, so he's choice. Back. So <laughs> choice. Uh... Yeah, being a captain is really, really tricky. We were playing yesterday, yeah. and I was I got uh, captain a bunch of times, and I just ran. I was like, screw this, I had a sniper, <laughs> and I just ran. And what that is kind of an interesting strategy, because what it does is it starves the other team of those captain points. Yeah. So if you get killed as a captain, the timer's going to re reset for yeah, the so, next captain. Yeah, uh, so the, let me just, yeah, I'll go over that really fast. Again, it's the, whoever's contributing the most to the mode will get designated a captain, but it happens after a certain amount of um, points have been contributed to the mode, really. Mm. Uh, from oh, yeah, you gotta make it right. Your team. You right. So, if there is no captain, then it's waiting for the kind of threshold to be hit, and it'll choose a new captain. If there is a captain, it'll just level them up when that threshold's hit. But if it's a rank three captain, that threshold's hit, nothing happens. Yeah. So that's the best way to starve the other team of those points is right. to survive through rank three and to stay alive. Then no new captains are getting chosen. They're not getting anything um, in terms of those points. It's, it's Watch a big it advantage. You. Watch it. You got him. Charles Han. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Eating oh, faces. Woo! The XCR is oh. a little better oh. from uh -oh. how it was in yeah, the yeah, stress yeah, yeah. test in the beta. Wow. It really eats yeah, yeah, yeah. faces That's at it. close range. That's it. That's it. <laughs> so nice. So I love C4. It's pretty great. Are you gonna upgrade? You got some cash, monies. Uh, Faxi uh, came in here. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, no, no. okay. Gotta wait for that. Gotta wait. We gotta talk about <laughs> uh, the new Indra settings that we've introduced. No. That we've changed from the stress test. Oh boy. So. Yeah. 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 No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Annihilated. Feels so good. So yeah, you. So there's a captain on both. Captain teams on both now. teams now. Nice. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We got a bunch of melees. There's the end. There it is. So one thing, um, wow. one of the mods that we really like with the Injured Attorney and one of the changes we made. Start with the change. Now when you purchase it, you get two because we noticed a lot of people weren't really utilizing it. So we said, okay, we think it's pretty powerful in certain situations. Let's just give you a second one. And that worked out pretty well. Yeah. You um, get two with a single purchase. Yeah, and then one of the mods that we really like that you can add to it is when you catch anyone He's in the Indra's Eternity, uh, they become marked. So you actually know if you've hit anyone, and you can, like that right there, and you can run up and... Oh, wow. Oh, he's trying to charge melee? Yeah, he I don't was. think so. <laughs> that would have been good if he had it up. If you catch someone in Indra's who's already got charged melee up, don't run at them. Yeah. So you can, I mean... If you get caught in a in an Indra's, it's not you're not dead. No. Like you can definitely fight back. You can definitely move and shoot and you know do everything. You're just a little bit slower. But I've been killed plenty of times uh, as I throw uh, Indra's at people and they kill me. I mean, so it's definitely like you know a defendable. So you picked it up and threw it back in the same spot. I was reloading. Okay. Triangle. Well, get yours. Can you get yourself? I'm cat. Oh, that was my treasure thing. Yeah, treasure. Fighting good. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Team captain. All right, nice. So you just eliminated. So Robert's now the captain. You can see he got some bonuses. Uh, so it's a good like time to fucker. spend his cash, if you will. <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely want to buy yeah, stuff now. Upgrade your captain. gear. Oh, and, boy. And not, not have that happen. Uh, <laughs> okay. You 
want to get out of there. Real cool. hot, real hot, real hot. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. Real I got hot, this. I got this. I got this. Okay. Right, you guys win all the monies. Out. Wow. Zero dollars. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's okay, go. okay. 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 All right. We're going to A. Let's go A. Okay. So uh, he's ranked two. So he's getting even more of a discount. He says more of a discount. He's a little tougher <laughs> to uh, take out when he's been downed. And he can revive his teammates even faster. So again, there you go. You see it all up top. So stay near your team. You want to stay near your team. You want to survive. The longer you survive as a captain, the more points starve the other the team. team. Yeah, yeah. Is to there. So see this guy. He's rushing in. That's that was not a good idea as a captain. He's so. by himself. Got crushed. So you. So your team just got a nice influx of points. Meanwhile, their oh, their points. Behind oh, you. Oh yeah. Behind yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. 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 So someone just dropped the Sapphire Manco, and it works in, it kind of makes this pulse, and people will be showing up on minimap, so it's a great oh, way really? to oh. uh, kind of, when you are a captain or something, keep track and not get flanked, or when you're on a site, see where the people are. So now he's level three. It only lasts three. for, I think, like 25 seconds. And he's level three, yeah, so his so bonuses are at their max level. He's worth 60 points to the enemy, but... The longer he stays alive, the more starved the enemy will be of those points they oh, could be wow. getting for damaging him. Or for knocking him out. Carnage around you. Just, yeah, just oh, they're all behind you. Him. They're coming. They're coming. Do not steal my kill again. Do not steal my kill again. Oh! <laughs> I love it. Boom. See, brutes are not that butt. Not that bad. Not that butt. <laughs> not that butt. Nice sniper. Did you take the position? Did you take a mod on your sniper? Oh, kill him! Get him! Oh! Whoa. Whoa. All right, good. RPG. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh. Oh. Okay, so you just fed the other team 60 points, but he's been bad for a long time. So, so that match is pretty even. I mean, they're 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 getting the sights, but you can do a lot with keeping your captain alive or just continuously eliminating the other team's captains. So right there, Robert just repositioned his sniper, which is the only is a great yeah. way to keep them alive, put them in a better spot, uh, and uh, you know keep keep moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Do we have any questions on the mode or any, any good questions oh, to answer? Oh yeah. Customization we went over. Uh oh. Uh oh. El Dorado. Alright, well. Okay, we're oh, gonna get store, to yeah. we'll the get store to and to the loadouts probably after this after this match. Um, sniper just marked him. Amazing. Love the sniper. Uh, all modes are kinda in the air right now where we're experimenting and trying to get something that we are really happy with and we think the community will be really happy with out for the first drop on that roadmap. Um, but no, we don't have any mode locked in right now about when it's coming back, if it's coming back, or any new modes. Yeah, we're just really focused on the modes that we're shipping with, which is Command, Plunder, TDM, and Ranked. Um, and we certainly are going to add more modes down the line. What those are, we're not... Um, we're still experimenting, we're yeah. iterating, we're trying out some new stuff. Anything's possible. Yeah. Uh, so right, stealth kills right now. The the there's no like stealth kill in the vein of Uncharted Three stealth kill. Where you just walk up and next snap. It's really focused around using that charge melee. And if you want to use it okay. more stealthily, we have the boosters available for you to um, to really kind of make it more powerful in a stealth situation. Oh, enemy captain. Get him. Enemy captain. Oh, he's frozen. Done. Nice. Ho! <laughs> See ya. Yeah, love it. I love it. Uh, Sorry. So yeah, we, we have some questions about the DLC roadmap and when things will be released, when they're coming out. We have a blog, um, a post on the PlayStation blog detailing all of Ooh. that. It has a nice infographic. It tells... Um, <laughs> which seasons th that different things are oh. coming out in and, and so what scary. is coming out and how many of different items are coming out for DLC. So we really encourage you all to go to the PlayStation blog, check out uh, the post okay, there detailing that roadmap. He wants to rope kill you. It's not gonna uh, Arnie's going to post the, a link to it in the chat for anyone really who, who's interested. 
He's yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. 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 Okay. Four health left. Oh. Nice. Some nice work. Yeah. You so the XCR, you want to talk about the XCR a little bit? XCR, so we, we tuned some of the power weapons, uh, heavy weapons, not necessarily in terms of pure power, but we noticed that a lot of people were having some frustrating situations with using them. So we increased the amount of ammo you get for oh, the ARX. a few of them. Yeah, this is the ARX. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This also, one in particular um, is fun because it puts out bullets rate of fire. faster than any other gun in the game. So you just it's a fire hose Woo! of bullets. So you have two clips of it, but you yeah. saw he just <laughs> burned through it <laughs> burned right it away. So, fast. so the XER is this loadout weapon that is a uh, really awesome short range, uh, low accuracy gun uh, that is also super high rate of fire. Not as high as the ARX power weapon, yeah. but probably the highest amongst the loadout guns. Yeah, loadout guns. Yeah, that's, uh, that's true. So put people down really quickly. At close range, but at, at medium, medium range, long longer range, range the, the damage it does drops off pretty quick. It's not that effective. Uh, nice. Now, Robert is using the hero weapon version that has a oh. little bit reduced um, increase or better accuracy and uh -huh. reload speed. So you can put out bullets faster and they're a little more accurate. So that does make it somewhat better at mid range, but again, the damage drop off is pretty nice. significant. Uh, we will have leaderboards. I believe you tweeted about that, confirming yeah. that. Yeah. Are they they're there at launch? Yeah. All right. They'll be there for you guys uh, at launch. Comes. Leaderboards are coming. For, coming for you. For different modes. Um, and then with medals, I'll let Robert hit on that. He's been kind of handling things from that end after he's done here because we're about to be done. About as long as he doesn't. Gotta make it rain. There you go. Woo! Uh, yeah, for launch, we're gonna have uh, medals running in team deathmatch. And then we'll we're considering adding medals in both plunder and command. It's just those modes currently are uh, the information in those modes is so crucial that we decided to not launch with medals in them because of how distracting they can be in the moment to moment. Uh, but we're looking at sort of revamping medals at some point, <clears throat> uh, possibly considering what they mean and how exactly they might be showing up in game. So currently just in TDM. Uh, all right, so I mean, we had people asking about loadouts, progressions, more customization stuff. I don't know. Um, Can we get Aaron in here? Do you want Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Aaron Daly. Aaron Daly. Actually, I can take this. Yeah. Oh, oh, sure. Yeah. 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 Hey. Hey. MP crew in the uh, hizzy. Come, come closer a little bit. Uh, let's squeeze yeah, up yeah, a yeah. little bit. Hey, all right. Testing, testing. Yeah. Hi, Aaron. All right. Hey, guys. Who are you? Closer, closer. Oh, sit closer. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us all, all right. who are you? Hey, I'm Aaron Daly, uh, lead games designer at Night Dog. I worked on Uncharted 4 multiplayer with all these guys. Yeah. Woo! So Aaron did a lot of work on loadouts progression, on the progression side of things, making them more interesting and, and different than what we've done in the past. So I don't know if you want to Sure. Yeah, let's jump in. Uh, so normally we'd like to show you this on an account that doesn't have everything unlocked, um, but fortunately technical difficulties prevented that. So we're just going to go through and talk about it. Uh, so the unlock system progression uh, is really simple. It basically revolves around using the thing that you're trying to unlock to get more of that thing. And so the way it works is, say you want to unlock uh, more long guns, um, the way you, you do that is by getting long gun downs. And so every gun requires a specific number of long gun downs to unlock. And so as you're just playing the game, you're going to be unlocking more long guns. And so what this does is it kind of gives you a little bit of choice in like how you progress. So if you wanted to say unlock new sidekicks, uh, you do that by just using sidekicks. And so you start out with two sidekicks available, the Brute and the Savior. Uh, if you want to unlock the Sniper and the Hunter, you've got to just use the existing sidekicks you have available to you. And so players who like playing with a certain thing, they're just going to unlock more of that thing naturally. Uh, and then where it gets interesting is where you start to get into the mods for each of the things which take a little bit longer to unlock because uh, we want to get you the, the big meaty stuff really quickly. Um, but the mods are kind of a little more specialized, a little more, you know, uh, for the kind of higher level players. So we, we, those take uh, a little bit longer to unlock. Uh, and the, But they use the exact same system. So if you want to unlock your sniper mods, for example, then you just have to use the snipers, uh, sniper sidekicks. Just and purchase them, place them, let them do their thing, and the more you do that, the more you will unlock faster down that progression path. Absolutely. And you know we have some 
boosters and stuff that will allow you to get cash to purchase them faster. If you really want to focus on them, you can go through a particular set pretty quick. Sure, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, so one player might be focusing on mysticals and might be, you know, trying to grind through all their mystical unlocks really quickly um, and then not paying attention to sniper, just just sidekicks because they're not a sidekick player. And that's totally cool. We yeah. want to just support that play style of allowing you to focus on the unlock that you're most interested in. Um, and so when it comes to boosters, um, they unlock based on total score earned. So that's basically kind of just a, a natural progression. Just by playing the game, you're going to be unlocking new boosters. Uh, but where it gets interesting is where you unlock the booster levels, and those are always based on using that booster in the way that it's intended to be used. So, for example, the Helping Hand booster increases your revive speed, and so you start out with level 1, uh, and then level 2 and 3 unlock based on getting more revives. So basically, you equip that booster, and then you do the thing that the booster is all about, like getting revives, and you're going to level up that booster. Fans of Uncharted 3 will remember this. This is kind of similar... Um, except instead of getting the medal associated with the action, you're just doing the action. Mm -hmm. It's just one step a little more um, understandable, we, we thought, and especially since we don't have medals in two modes. <laughs> that would have been really hard to make them based on medals. So yeah, it's a really simple system, um, and it gives you just a little bit of choice in how you go about unlocking things. Uh, you can really focus on something that you want to go after and go after it and get it pretty quickly. And uh, you mentioned score. I don't know if you were, since we're talking about boosters right now, you really want to quickly mention what score is. Sure. Yeah, let's just go back and see if we can get the match results up here. Uh, so let's look at score. Um, so we've kind of redid the scoreboard a bunch, um, and we really changed it from being focused on cash, which a lot of people mentioned, and we ourselves had this exact same feeling, which is that it just wasn't a good indication. Oh, we're loading into a match. No, there we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, so cash previously in the beta and the stress test uh, the scoreboard was all sorted by cash and it was listing cash and it just wasn't a good indication of like your contribution to the match. And so we redid the scoreboard and, and kind of based it around score, which is much more focused on how players actually contributed. So since we played in objective mode, you can see that we've broken up the score into different categories here. And so the objective score is like your, you know, in this mode, how much, how many uh, captures you had, how many uh, points you neutralized, how many. Um, people uh, you downed or defended yeah. sites, downed yeah. people near the sites, side. killed yeah, captains. Exactly. So if we, we, we don't see the breakdown of that, you can switch over tabs here. So we added tabs to the scoreboard. You can go L1, R1, and I have to tab through it to get more detailed information. You can also do this in the match if you're interested. Yeah. And so this gives you a breakdown of exactly what is contributing to that score. So all these things you see here, the captures, it neutralizes, downing attackers, the KOing defenders, uh, those are all things that contribute to that total of objective score that you see in that, that category there. And if you're a guy who just wants to see his KDR, you just go to combat Absolutely. and leave that up. And every time you go back to looking at the score, you'll see this as your default one. Absolutely, yeah. So it stays... in and two. Yeah. <laughs> Beast. Legit. Yeah, nice job. Uh, cool. All right, so let's go back and uh, finish talking about progression a little and bit. And that score just is how you unlock the boosters. Exactly. So that score that you earned there in that match, um, so here we earned like, you know, 49, 25 score total. Uh, so that would contribute to uh, unlocking uh, new boosters in this list. Uh, which we all have currently unlocked. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this would, uh, it would get you new boosters. And then once you equip those, leveling up those boosters is based on doing the action. So for example, you know, this, this booster is all about using your guns while you're on a rope. So you get to use your long gun, which I actually love this booster. I'm a huge <laughs> fan of it. Uh, and so to level that up, you actually just have to get downs while you're on a rope. So you could get on the rope and do some swinging and yep. start down people. And, and the second level uh, of this, if you really want, is to use your heavy weapon while on a rope. Nice. So game changer. Rocket. <laughs> RPG. Game changer. Awesome. Uh, so let's just talk a little bit about the last uh, unlock thing in here, which is the loadout point. So you guys mentioned this earlier that, uh, so when you start the game, we start you at 19 loadout points, mm -hmm. and there's one loadout point in every different category of unlocks for you to get. And so once you've completed that category, so once you've unlocked all the boosters, then you get this additional loadout point. And that really changes the whole makeup of your loadout. Because suddenly you're, you know, oh, I got 20. OK, now what can I do with that? And you rejigger your loadout and make it you know, totally is it, new. Is it all or is it most? Sorry? Is it all the boosters or is it most of the boosters? This one is all boosters. All boosters. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, we are still working on all of this. Well, big caveat, like we're still tuning a lot of these numbers. And yep. so, you know, things that you see here might change a little bit between now and launch um, but uh, we're pretty confident it's a fun system so you know you know same thing here unlock all the mysticals you get another loadout point you know unlock all the gear you get another loadout point 
Uh, and so these ones are actually pretty quick to get, like, you know, burning through the gear and the yeah. mystical psychic unlocks, so you get them really fast, and then you can start, you know, upgrading your loadout. You don't need to get the mods. The mods are not part of that, that list. It's just unlocking the base items. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then we'll talk briefly about um, how we unlock those mods. Um, so again, it's the same thing as um, using all the other categories. So the un mods are unlocked by using that weapon in question. So getting you know these new uh, XCR mods are uh, done by getting downs with the XCR. And then same thing with hero weapons. The hero weapons are unlocked by getting downs with the hero weapons. And we will say that these are probably the longest uh, you know turn progression we have in the oh, game. Yeah, for so sure. you know the hero weapons, quite a few of them, and uh, they're they're much more specialized. So they t you know we find players like to specialize in the gun, so we gave them some nice meaty stuff to to, to work towards. Um, now this might be a good segue over to the store. Exactly. Since the hero weapons are the only mm -hmm. gameplay item that you can unlock via the store, and yeah. not with uncharted points not with actual cash it's just with relics you earn in game yes so let's go talk about the store uh so we've got a bunch of new chests in here that weren't in the beta or stress test so let's talk about those um first off obviously we have the vandy chest um which you guys have seen before and it's fun yeah, it gives you a random Ooh, set yeah. of vanity items so beautiful what do we get we got the sniper's like <laughs> uh skin we got the beanie hat this takes a lot of load. There we go. And we got the mask. Domino mask. Cool. Nice. Um, yeah, so that's the vanity chest that you guys are familiar with. If you've ever played the beta of the stress test, um, there's a bunch of other chests. Let's look at the hero weapon chest, actually. So what this is, is uh, another way to get hero weapons. And if you don't want to do the full grind or you want to help yourself because there are a lot of hero weapons, so getting all of them is, will take you a very long time. Exactly. You can spend your relics this way. But yeah. it's random. It is. So, you know, you, it, and that's actually kind of an interesting thing in that sense that people like to specialize in the gun. They're, be, you know, they're really focused on their, the gun they like. But then occasionally you get, you know, you get this random drop for, for another weapon that you haven't played with and it's a hero weapon. And you're like, okay, I'll go and try that out. And it's got two mods on it and it's yep. pretty powerful. And yep. so it gives you an interesting way to experiment without necessarily having to put a lot of time into progressing down each of those. Yeah, guns. one way we wanted to encourage people to try out different weapons. Yeah, and uh, just to reiterate, uh, there's no way to um, buy these with yeah. Uncharted points, our paid virtual currency. It's all relics, the, the gameplay uh, currency. So uh, so it's very fair, and it's just a, another interesting way to, to progress. Um, so let's talk about the other chests we have. Um, so same thing as hero weapons. Uh, the mystical and psychic mods take a while to get, so if you want, you can kind of shortcut that um, and get a random one. And we have a special chest for this, yeah. which is the yeah. chest. What did we get? All right, we got the staff highlight targets mod. Cool. Ooh, very powerful. Which are only highlight yes. targets for you. <laughs> oh, we have a question about what the, what the green, the green dot, dot is. The so the, at the top of the screen here, you see our friends uh, display here, which um, if I'll just go into this briefly, this shows you like how many players you have uh, in online that are available to, to play with. So when you're you know playing you know, the game and you're back in the menus, you just kind of take a look at that number. You can kind of glance at it and just see like, oh, there are people to play with? Cool, and then you can go and join them. And we tried to make the friends interface uh, a lot more usable. Here you can see like number of people are in your party, number of people who are you know playing online that you can't join because they're in a match. And then you can obviously see all the offline people as well. Um, so you can send invites from here uh, and you can um, you know, join them directly. Uh, cool. All right, so let's talk about the last chest here, which is the one-use booster chest. Um, so if you're familiar with uh, The Last of Us, um, we had one-use boosters in The Last of Us, and they were pretty interesting. Actually, we also had them in Uncharted yeah, as well. So we did it. Yeah, we've had them in our previous iteration. These are a little mm. different in that they're only focused on the store items. Yeah, exactly. They, they don't actually change how you are, how powerful you are, like with your weapons or anything like they. they some of them did in The Last of Us. This is yeah. just related to your store. Items. They're all discounts. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so currently we have four of them, and uh, they're they're all related, as you guys say, to the store. So there's uh, you get your gear cheaper, you can get your heavy weapons cheaper, you can get your mysticals cheaper, you can get your psychics cheaper. Uh, it's an interesting way to you know use your relics uh, to give you just a tiny little uh, <coughs> boost. It's not a you know huge significant advantage, and but you can only use one at a time in a match, and it's gone then. Exactly. Yeah. So as the name says, it's one use. Um, one of the great things to do is actually purchase a one use booster chest and then orientate yourself towards unlocking certain things so sure mm -hmm. it's faster to so say if you're trying to you know get through all your mystical unlocks and you mm -hmm. use a one use booster for cheaper mystical so you can buy more mystical so you can get yeah. through those unlocks faster um 
Cool. All right. So that uh, pretty much covers the store. Um, you know, just to reiterate the whole economy rollout that we talked about in the blog post, uh, we really wanted to make the, the game really fair for players. So, uh, you know, everything that's gameplay, uh, you can only get uh, through you know, using our relics, our, our gameplay currency that's right through gameplay. Uh, the only thing you can buy with the paid currency and chart points are vanity items uh, that's on the disc. Uh, and then the DLC will be introducing, uh, like we talked about, DLC chests, which lets you unlock both gameplay and vanity items uh, with relics. And that gives players who are you know, just playing the game, they don't want to spend any money, a way to still get all the, the content. So we feel like that's a great system, and uh, we're looking forward to... Uh, and they will be a little more expensive than the gameplay or vanity chests at default, but we've been trying to be very careful about finding a limit where we're not forcing you to spend forever. Absolutely. Yeah. And all the um, DLC maps will be free. free. <laughs> and, modes. And, modes. <laughs> and modes. And modes. And modes. You don't need to spend relics to unlock those. You just get those. Including co-op. Co-op will be free. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> so excited. Good thing you were sitting down when I told you that. <laughs> cool. So uh, do we? you guys want to play a match of plunder now? Are we gonna go yeah, ahead? absolutely. Sure. Right. Any cool. questions? We answered sort of the last podcast question of people who say we haven't talked about it at all. And this is something we were interested in. <laughs> just not paying attention so to the stream. haven't done what? <clears throat> Responded. So we are going to be, again, we are going to be changing the rules and trying, you know, hopefully we'll get the lab and hopefully we'll be able to get a place to really experiment and let you guys play these things and, and try out different modes and try different things. But in terms of a full classic Uncharted 2 experience, um, it's actually, we aren't sure if we're ever going to really want to get there. Uh, we'll see. And the process to get there is actually quite extensive because that changes the core mechanics of the game extensively. Um, so it's if if it's coming, it won't be for a while, and uh, it's unlikely we'll ever get a full classic mode. We'll be experimenting with the rules and responding to feedback, and we'll definitely be trying to give you as many options and custom games as we can to let you guys experiment there as well. Uh, but yeah, that's that's kind of where we we sit on that right now with classic mode. Okay, answered it twice. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, I'm just gonna go equip. One of these skins here. I really like London Marlowe. Hmm? You know, we, some of us especially, we, we love the idea of clan support. Yeah. Um, we had a lot to get in, and it's something we definitely want to continue. We're going to try to really support this game post um, the launch and really try to expand it based on what people want. And if clan tag is one of the things people want, that's something we're going to get to at some point, I think. I, I, it, it seems doable. Pretty likely. It seems pretty likely. Yeah. Full clan support, however, will probably be something that uh, may not ever happen full clan support yeah. in game in game yeah. clan yeah. lobbies yeah. and stuff yeah that's that's a bit but did you set it default uh no i just said uh, to do you want to set default sure no, no, no. i mean i don't know are you picking a new taunt yeah sure well uh, we can let default. it go quin you can't make it rain all the time <laughs> <laughs> and let's show off new taunts i figured yeah i figured we should try some yeah, taunts. Totally. Uh, cool. yeah there you go all right there we go the leveling system <laughs> that we just talked about. Um, <laughs> for people who have just come in or who who didn't really get an understanding of the leveling system, uh, Aaron just talked about it. This will be archived. You'll be able to go <coughs> over and and watch his whole yeah. uh, talk <laughs> about it. To... It was it was a good long talk. Yeah, I mean, explained everything about it. We can't do it again. Uh, but really, too long didn't read. You unlock more items by using similar items and you unlock modifications to those items by using that item specifically mm -hmm. pretty standard cool uh so we're gonna play some plunder let's are we do, gonna it. do it on a new map we're yeah. we gonna change the map mm, we might as well do madagascar madagascar yeah. sure points. someone asked about uncharted points and charter points are uh detailed in the playstation blog if you um they, they are right arnie yes yeah, so yeah. uncharted points are detailed in the playstation blog if you get a chance uh, go read it, Arnie, if you can post it again in the, the chat for people. Um, it goes over that, it goes over relics, it goes over the game modes. It's, it's a good place for information. Um, but briefly, Uncharted Points are our microtransaction currency that you can use to shortcut vanity items, not gameplay, and to get bundles or DLC items, shortcut DLC items down the line. Yes. You c do we? Yes, you can also, anything, sorry. I missed a discussion. The question was, can you get the same items in chess with relics? Yes. Anything you could spend uncharted points on, you'll be able to get in-game by using relics as well. Yeah. We didn't lock 
anything. Nothing's exclusive. To all vanity, okay. all gameplay items can be earned with relics, which can be earned by playing the game. That's the only way to earn them. We don't. Allow, we don't. <clears throat> excuse me. We don't have any accelerants that you can pay nope. cash for. Uh, we don't have any straight purchase of relics with uncharted points. It's not something we wanted to do. No. That is a separate system completely. Yeah, there's no way to basically accelerate or shortcut your progression by spending real money in this game. You can only pick yeah. an item or get a bundle of items. And that's that's it. So we're going to show Plunder now. Plunder, people asking about what's similar from Uncharted to Uncharted 3. This is classic Plunder. Uh, one of the things we have tried to do, though, with it is to update it a little bit um, to really help it conform <coughs> and work with our new core gameplay mechanics. And since... There's a lot more mysticals, a lot more activity that focuses in one spot. We want to allow you to move a little better with the idol because it's easier to, well, be knocked out or knocked down or drop the idol. So you can climb. It's the big thing. You can climb with the idol now on your back. You still, you know, can toss it to your teammates if you don't want to, to spend the time climbing. You want to get it up faster or you want to chuck it to a teammate. You can grab it, chuck it to a teammate, move it quicker. Um, you're much more mobile. You're much more mobile faster, with it. Your base speed with it's a little bit quicker. Is is I think decently faster than yeah. Uncharted two and three. You're pretty slow. Uh, but yeah, you're a lot more mobile, uh, which really suits the fast pace of the of the game. Yeah. Oh. You cannot rope with the idol. You cannot. If you try mm. to use your rope for a charged melee or yeah. for a uh, just a swing, oh, you will it. drop the idol and. Oh. Oh. Nice. Oh. Last second save. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh. 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 Well, leave him alive. Don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. One one nice tactic people have been using now that we have this the system of downs in the game is to down somebody and then just let them sit there. <laughs> and they have to uh, wait a few seconds before they can either take themselves out or... Um, they'll just be there for a long time. But at the same time, you are opening up the risk that they will be revived and back in the fight quickly by, say, Jintamani Stone. Or he, wants, he, wants to rope, he wants to rope that yeah, Also, in Plunder, revives are actually worth quite a bit more. Oh! Oof. Revives are worth a bit more. We okay. noticed people weren't reviving that much. They just wanted to respawn it back in the next. <laughs> oh! Told you! <laughs> rope punch you! <laughs> yeah, revives are worth a lot. How much are they worth? 100. 100? So yeah, we doubled the, the revive. No. Oh, a classic leveling system. I see what people want. Uh, we we don't sense. have a classic leveling system. We wanted to, again, allow people to level up kind of on their focus. If somebody really wants to play a gameplay style, we wanted them to go down that route quicker than just a classic leveling system of unlocking things in order, getting things you might not care about, and it taking a really long time to finish any particular item. So that was kind of our focus. So we don't have a classic leveling system. We have this new upgrade unlock system. Uh, if you wish to compare yourself to other players and ranks. to have ranks, ranks. go play ranked ranks. mode. Ranks. It will do that for you. Oh, nice. Boy. nice. That is also detailed. How that operates is detailed in the uh, PlayStation, PlayStation blog. blog. So it's another, another thing you can read there. We can talk about it a little bit after this. Sure, yeah, absolutely. Show it. Ranked is amazing. It's in there. Uh, right. Yeah, we just won't be able, able to show much of the it. actual progression because you right. got to win some matches and see your points go up and such. Yeah, we, we could talk about how it works, though. We can chat. Um, yeah, and ranked, uh, the, it's where the wins count yeah. the most. Uh, you have to play, how many preliminary matches is it before you actually participate? Four or five. Yeah, you play four or five matches once you enter the ranked playlist. And then as you win matches, you're actually accumulating points. Oh, yeah. Do it. Do uh, it. Boom. Oof. Wow. Incredible. Grab it and climb with it. Oh, he's got to he's he's got 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 not die. There we go. Oh, shit. Oh, still one more. Still one more. Got one reviving next to you. Oh, he's no. Oh, where, where is your team? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're really far away. Yeah, ranks in incredibly intense mode. I mean, in, in short, as as you win matches, you're accumulating points that's going to put you at the, in this opportunity to participate in qualifiers. So, for example, uh, we have ranked bronze through platinum, I believe. 
and when you're diamond is it di diamond, diamond. Mm. um and uh, if you're in bronze two and you win enough matches to accumulate say 500 points you'll be put into qualifiers and the way you get to bronze one is that in these qualifiers you'll need to win a certain number of matches uh w over the course of a certain number of matches so uh, once i enter qualifiers to go into bronze one i have to win the next three of my five matches to move into bronze uh, one no sniper. Um, if i don't oh. win three of my wow. five matches nice. uh, i am detracted subtracted points and <laughs> I need to, uh, well let's quickly hit that so um that came back from uncharted 3 for for those of you who, who played it where if you have the idol in your hand you can use it just one hit down. enemies in the face and knock them out um since you can't use the rope charge melee, that's your, your one hit down option. It's actually faster, but you are slowed down and more vulnerable since you can only use a pistol. Why didn't we do it where it. Oh, that's right, we didn't want it to have you uh, KO you immediately. I cannot die! So, yeah, okay, so there were some levels in the stress test in the beta um, in terms of progression. That was a temporary thing, so we called them beta points. Uh, we were still fleshing out our progression system and that is not going to show up in the final game the final game is the progression system that has been detailed in this um, in this cast sniper sniper psychics are incredible in objective modes they are they say protect they take out a they, they control lane yeah they're great and again, if you if you do want ranked, if you want to compare yourself to other people, if you want to like have a number to show off, play the ranked mode. Yeah, so it's there. It's it's intense. It's, it's we're gonna be intense. supporting it as it goes and trying to to you know again make it even more fleshed out. So yeah, please play it. He's <laughs> he's the best. He's my favorite. Oh boy, this is a dangerous spot. Real punch. Nice. Yeah, we do a lot of work with um, the spawning system and plunder to try to nice. keep the action going, but not just oh. drop people too close. You should have a chance to capture, like just happened here. Um, at the same time, if you are on the other team, you should hopefully have a chance to intercept before they get to the their chest and and stop them. Sure. So the question was, why is Plunder 4v4 versus 5v5? Uh, because there's one objective, effectively, we found that the uh, having five people running around was almost too chaotic. It was just nice store items purchases everywhere focused on one spot, so it was all being thrown at one location, and we found that if we dropped it down to 4v4, the game just played better. It was easier to take a second to respond, easier to play strategically, and to not just simply be overwhelmed by Ooh. activity on one little focus spot. Uh, it worked out really well with people who have come in and played the game. Uh, we hope you all like it as well. And throw pretty quick when you're when you're on an angle too, pretty far. The throws are still very powerful, even though you can climb. Oh, you used every bullet in your clip to get that kill. That was <laughs> nice. nice level. Oof. Yeah. You guys are dominating. Uh oh. Smoke grenades actually oh. have a, a oh, real oh. big play in uh, Blender. Nope. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> it's flailing wildly. A little too risky there. And again, because all the action is focused on one spot, because that's something you want to take. You're, you're traveling and you're vulnerable. Different pieces of gear, different mysticals become more important. Demonic skulls become very important. Smoke grenades become much more important than other modes. The oh, use yeah, of a certain item changes. Goodness. That happens daily. all the time. Though. That tower is so high, you just don't see it coming. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, revives are like clutch. In Crucial. Mode. That's how you get your cash. It's like really best way to earn cash. Oh. oh. Let's try to figure out where they're coming from. Oh. Someone else asked about the system. I think you're getting trolled now, aren't you? Yeah. We've <laughs> answered that question maybe about five times. <laughs> <laughs> I'll believe it. 
octopus is going again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got this. Oh, they're up above. They're, they're there. They're in yeah. the smoke. Nice. So, um, the way the skins will work, uh -oh. you want to uh, hit this one off, anyone? What's, What's that? that? What's the question? What's the question, question was, do you have to choose your skin before every match, or can you save? It keeps your previous location, I believe. So where you were selected last, it'll be highlighted there. Well, it keeps your previous character. Yeah. It'll yeah. save it on the previous character, but with skins on the character, those all save. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can set all your characters to whatever skin and customization, and then... Uh, Even taunts individually. Each character can have their own taunt. Yeah, each character can have a separate taunt. So, you know, what? You, I didn't know that. Yeah, if you want to give Marlo the wine glass and then, you know, Eddie Bizarre. to make it rain. Yeah. It's totally <laughs> uh, And then with the um, W. Nice. nice. Any more qu questions about progression and, and rank levels? <laughs> Can we answer some more of those? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Want to see more customization? Oh, custom uh, game settings? Again, all skins, maps, all, everything from U, U2, U3 is on the table. You um, really ought to, should, should, when you get the game, take a look through all the skins that are available. You'll see some of the things I think you like in there, if that's your question. Uh, in terms of maps, everything's on the table. We're working through that now, trying to see which ones play best. But again, the game has changed on a core level in both single player and multiplayer. These things are, are different. So not all maps work. It's something that we are experimenting with, and we'll have more information as we get closer to those release points on the DLC roadmap. Yeah, and you know, single player locations, like there's so many that we didn't make empty maps of and i'm super excited to make multiplayer maps of all the different locations that we didn't get to uh from single player because i think those are incredible and yeah there's still um, some very iconic areas that we yeah, haven't hit yeah so um like brand new maps uh i'm super excited for so aaron's uh making his loadout, his loadout this focusing this a jam. lot on on Getting a lot of boosters. Like, so yeah, I like, booster heavy. I like booster heavy stuff. Um, I like this combat marking booster that we added. So it allows you to mark enemies when you're down, which is a really common yeah. scenario. <laughs> you get down, then you're like your teammates. I want to tell you about this guy. He's right next to me. And so this gives you that ability. You just press X uh, when you, you get the call yeah. for help prompt, and it marks them. One thing we, we did see, you know, a lot of people saying is, oh, there's so much marking, so much marking. So we said, okay, well, we'll make them specific boosters. We're not just going to lump it all in. You have to pay a cost to do these things. So if you get marked, you know somebody paid a loadout point cost, an in-game cost, something to do that to you. Yeah. And then the, the next levels of this booster uh, also show the enemy's name tag when they damage you, which is really useful just in combat. So this kind of has two purposes. It both helps you during combat and then also once if you do get down. Um, let's see what else I'm going to add. Any, uh, oh, and uh, just for actually. people... So then I was know we, we reworked some of the default loadouts, the presets. Um, they do have more than the base 19 points. So if you don't have enough stuff to customize right away or you can't find a loadout that you really love with stuff that you start with, keep it the preset loadouts for a little bit, unlock some stuff, and then that'll give you more more loadout points, more options to kind of really expand yeah, presets your... presets are pretty solid. They're pretty yeah. legit. Yeah, and they cover a lot of different play styles, and you can go a long way with the presets. Should we try Plunder on Rooftops? Do it. Yeah. Fire it up. Plunder on Rooftops. We're getting a bunch of recent questions. Okay. Um, so can you say, people were mentioning that questions like, if we're putting the lab or the map, guns Yeah, so we're getting, I guess, you know, p this is a long stream. People are coming in as we go, so we're getting a lot of few questions. In terms of um, customization, gun skins, uh, maps, you know, DLC, uh, please re if, if you just joined, we'll be posting this up in our archive on, you know, our Twitch channel, and you'll be able to watch it. We've discussed all that progression. It's all been discussed here, so uh, you'll be able to, to kind of get the full scoop. Yeah.
So yeah, I made this loadout based on the HS39, which is one of my favorite guns. Yes. No, there's no <laughs> no land support. Uh, Spectator mode is something we're interested in. Yeah, we'd love to do it. It's, it's a it's big technical really hurdle. Yeah. It's a lot of tech. It's just not something we can commit to. Um, although we do have magicians for programmers here at Naughty Dog. Um, it's something we want to do, but we're not quite sure we can pull it off yet. We have a big list of things that we Gigantic. are supporting and doing post-launch, and we want to get to, you know, we have to get to all that stuff. That's all the stuff we've announced. And on top of that, we are still going to be looking at what else we can do to support. And so that's not nope. the full list. That's not it. Nope. But um, we're just not 100. We don't want to make promises we can't keep yep. for things like spectator mode. Happy to share, though. We would love to do it. Oh, we got a guy in there. Oh, nice. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Whoa. I was shooting through the idol there. Wow, that was a headshot. The idol. Oh, okay. Well, we can take a look at the yeah, leaderboards, leaderboards after this. Yeah. Um, oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, we got a <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> I was a little too aggro on that one. This map has a good initial fight over that idle place. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, real just, tough. it's a really epic battle just to get initial possession. As far as um, the custom game modes, well, we can. Again, reiterate that we're going to have some options available to you at launch. <laughs> Who is sniping? And we're going to be expanding. Oh, oh whoa. behind you. you just snipe? No, behind you. Really? really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. We're Sorry. going to be expanding the, the list of options in custom games post-launch. So what you see there is not the far final. From final. Yeah, far, we're going to have far, a, far, a lot far more final. custom game settings. So we fully encourage you all to, when you get the game, check out the custom games options, come to the Naughty Dog forums, post what you'd like to see, and then you know that'll give us a feeling of what is most wanted, and we'll be able to go from there and add those quicker. So, um, Arnie, I don't know if you want to post a link to the, the forums or not, but uh, if not, just you know, Google Naughty Dog forums will be right there. Yeah, forums and our Twitter is definitely a good way to get us feedback, but certainly the forums is a, is a great way to see we all kind of browse the forums and check out what's going on there. Frequently, and it's a, it's a good way to get us feedback. Here we go. So there was that marking uh, helping me out. So that guy damaged me, and then I saw his name tag through the smoke. I was able to. You gotta finish him off, though. Yeah. <laughs> good thing you have, a, you have clip size, right? Yeah, that's yeah, right. That I got clip helpful. capacity. There you go. Oh, we got a guy oh, sniping oh. up there. So oh, another thing the sniper. smoke will do, which uh, people who play the stress test or beta might, might remember, is it. Interrupts the line of sight of NPC, so that sniper's laser is coming through, but he... Oh, I guess the smoke's fading. While the smoke <laughs> is up full, he cannot see you. Yeah, uh, she NPCs, cannot see you. Yeah, the psychics brute, can't shoot through yeah. smoke, through full smoke. The, the so hunter... Now, we did see this question before. Uh, the hunter doesn't see you through smoke. However, if another enemy sees you or you're shooting, he'll know where you are and he'll still hunt you down. The hunter will still track you. He'll track like you. Bomb, yeah. If someone knows, if someone on the other team knows where you are, he won't see you through the smoke though. So if you, if no one knows where you are, he might not come hunt you down. Uh, what is Trevor doing? Just waiting. He wants somebody to to do that, yeah, but then yeah. he, <laughs> it's exactly. Wow, they just went and scooped it up. Oh, there's a lot of sniping going on in this map. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh headshot. wow, headshot. Well, he was moving a little slower. Boom, okay. headshot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow, like icing on the cake, rope kill while you're down. It's ultimate. just an insult. It's an ultimate insult. Besides, uh, cinema, mode cinema mode is on the roadmap, I thought. Uh, it is, absolutely. Yeah, yeah we're going to be uh, pushing that out as soon as possible. So it's on the roadmap. Again, check out the PlayStation blog. It has the infograph, and it will be there. You can see where cinema mode is. Arnie, um, you, you post it again. Oh boy. Yeah, Arnie will there. keep posting it as we, we do oh this boy. for people who oh just come in. No grenade. Oh. oh, wow. Destruction. Uh, no one scored yet. This is a close game. Yeah, this is really tight. I mean, they're right there. They're going to get this yeah, one at least. Probably probably get this one. Like yeah. So you should. No. It still hasn't got it there. <laughs> go, uh, go, go to where it's going to be. 
gotta get rid of that sniper. Yeah, we have to get rid of that sniper. Really tough. Well, you guys don't need to be here anymore. You gotta go. You gotta go. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> These guys are sniping like crazy. That's right. You're giving money to your team. It's cool. <laughs> oh. Uh, if you complete all of the challenges, or, or, well, not really challenge, but if you unlock everything with a specific weapon, the ward is just unlocking everything. Uh, we didn't want to put loadout points or something really Dude, heavy behind that, since sniper. it takes a very long time to unlock everything for a specific weapon. A very long time. Again, and you can shortcut <coughs> that with relics if you, if you so desire. I guess one thing I forgot to mention is that the uh, hero chests aren't available until you unlock at least one hero gun. Mm. Uh -oh. Yeah, you're not going to be able to uh -oh. just come in and use uh -oh. your relics right away. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> His ragdoll fell yeah, on you, your head. You that can't spend incredible. your relics off the bat on hero on weapons. Hero weapons. Yeah, you yeah. can't just come into the game, get a hero weapon right away and start using it. You have to at least unlock one hero weapon before you can start unlocking uh, more with shortcutting the rest with relics. Oh, oh. Yeah, clip size. Yeah, I love clip capacity on this gun. It's I think one thing, fantastic. yeah, it's great. One thing yeah, people sniper. are gonna notice go and that. have been noticing, and we've been seeing comments on it, different from U2, different from U3, is the reduced effectiveness of blind fire in this game. It's more, Oof. say, a little go. more Oof. skill oh. elements to it. Um, in the previous games, it would just kind of be there as you fired. It would be random within the zone. Now it, it's based on if you're moving, you're more inaccurate. If you're firing, you become more inaccurate over time. If you're in cover, you're more accurate. So there's different elements of making blind fire more useful to you, but if you're just running around shooting, it's gonna be the least effective it can be. And it's really only useful in that case as like a finishing move than it is as like a full combat style. You really wanna use blind fire, you wanna try to be more tactical yeah. about it. Burst Rush fire, let your, swoop stake. let your blind fire recover. <laughs> get really close if you really want blind fire. Destruction, uh, Aaron Daly, domination. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> And while some guns are better than others, we have no gun that is a focused blind fire gun. <laughs> there is no, no, oh, that shit. won't happen again. No. Yeah, blind fire is much less effective uh, in this game. Than it, than it was in three, yeah. It's still useful, but. It's very useful. I use it a lot in certain situations, yeah, but, but it's situational now. Yeah. No details on co-op yet. Um, we're not going to show our hand on exactly what co-op is going to be. Um, those who are fans of what it was in the past uh, can expect that they'll be even bigger fans of what we'll be doing in the future. Um, nice. Wow. Wow. Aaron <clears throat> Daly's put oh. on a clinic. That's four. He took four out. Put on a clinic. Oh. Where's the taunt? <laughs> no, no, no. Aaron, Aaron doesn't taunt. Aaron's a very professional You just killed murderer. the whole team. There's no risk. He doesn't gloat. He's a very respectful killer. Classic Canadian. Uh, Robert's favorite question. Uh-oh. Uh, no. Uh, what plans to support any uh, VF Target communities uh, are you planning on tournaments or live streams? Sure, yeah. Let's talk about tournaments, live streams, things like that. We definitely want to support that oh. as much as we can. Um, we're going to be doing more live streams. We're you know, there's there's definitely a lot of third party groups oh, out there we've been talking to who oh, do boy. tournaments. Um, we're trying to get support with. Uh, we've got you know ranked mode and and one thing that's you know in the air is where does ranked mode go oh. based on what the tournament scene requires. Like it's up in the air. Uh, so it's something we're really looking into. Something we really want to uh -oh. take and focus some of our energy on to allow people who are competitive tournament players to you know, have a better experience this game than in previous games. Previous games, if you watched the tournament modes, it wasn't really super exciting, so we really want to make that better for people to play. Um, I'm an old tournament player myself. I really love that scene, so we're going to try to support it. Yeah, we're all big fans of, of high competitive play, so I think, uh, you know, once we launch, we're going to do as much as we can. So we put ranked mode. Yeah. Oh, we got sure. guys sniping uh, up on the top. Let's here. wait for this match to be over for that one. Aaron actually did a lot of the work on Uncharted TV. Questions were about Uncharted TV. Um, so we're going to let him chat about that and kind of what that looks like now oh. compared to what it was in Uncharted 3. Oop. Yeah. Aaron, you're having a stellar match. He's having a good I one. don't know. This last run has been a little rough. 
but are coming down to the end. You guys are kind of stalemating here. Crushing it. it is. We found you a get, you Eldorado still in your back pocket. Yeah, you are great with this guy. Sorry. Sure. Um, uh -oh, uh -oh. Actually, I'm not 100% uh, sure off. where we're going with lifetime stats. I mean, we're going to have leaderboards, and we're going to look at that after this as well. And you'll be able to see some of the stats that we're tracking for your lifetime. Uh, in terms of fleshing out what else we track, again, if something you really want to see, come oh, to our boy. forums this and tell us about you're it. You're it, Aaron. This is it. Oh. You're the last line of defense. Wrath. Wrath. Wrath is he's, it. He's got a wrath and a grenade. Drop it. Just drop them both now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Drop them. Drop oh, come it. Come on. That wasn't the threat. Oh, no. Nice, okay. Dude, the wrath is incredible. <laughs> so if you see a red band on a character's arm, we have a lot of customization options and a lot of colors and a lot of crazy stuff. It made it really hard to kind of see who was an ally and was an enemy. So one thing we did to help with that is if it's an enemy, someone on the enemy team, hero, villain, doesn't matter. As long as they're on the other team, they'll have a red armband. Uh, I don't know why I'm hitting. I'm hitting my arm, but you can't see that. <laughs> Good job, me. Uh, so there's a red red armband on them that will designate if it's an enemy uh, on top of the name tag um, elements that are already there. Yes. Oh, man. <clears throat> oh, man. One minute. Nice. One minute. Okay. Chuck it. Uh, yeah, you got to stop him. You got to stop him. Sure, clan support, we're not going to get ever full, complete, nice. like, in-menu clans and clan lobbies and stuff. We'd like to do tags at some point. But, but we are going to try to, yeah. Of it. yeah. We're going to try to do clan tags so you can at least, you know, show off who is in your clan. And 45 seconds, you can get coordinate. there. Through the middle, huh? It's got to take the risk. No. Mm. No. Yeah, no, no. Uh, we do not have any skeleton skins at launch. Again, all, all skins, skins are fully voiced. All skins also. are fully voiced. There's no no silent skins. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> you guys might make 20 this. Seconds. 20 seconds, you're there. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Okay, oh, he though. took it towards your base. Oh, and some smoke. That's helpful. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Meat shield. Meat shield, Aaron. Meat, Meat shield. shield. Oh, my goodness. Nine seconds. Oh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> blue, blue, blue. 26 downs <laughs> sure okay uh in terms of accessibility uh we touched upon this really <laughs> nice briefly work. before Aaron, you mind if i yeah. grab that real quick okay so we do have some accessibility options um for controls uh that handle just kind of how you can interact with the controller in different ways so you can toggle versus hold aim mode Peter button press, if it's something you have to tap a lot, instead we have something that allows you to just hold and do that. Uh, okay, that's just normal. And then in terms of camera controls, you have sensitivity, inverted, all the basics there. And then with regular controls and remapping, we do have some options here um, that allow you to remap certain parts of the controller. So like L3, R3, X are you know, um, shoulder swap, marking enemies, and zooming. And if you don't like the layout we have, we have different combinations so you can get uh, what you feel most comfortable with. We have remembering shoulder swap. So if you've shoulder swapped and you have this on, you will remember that so next right time you left. aim in, right yeah. or left. Big thing that was requested, so we put that in. Uh, <laughs> by one guy. A lot. <laughs> a lot. By one guy, a lot. One guy <laughs> dying to have that, and it's there. <laughs> uh, we have aim assist controls. You can turn down aim assist. Uh, strength all the way to off. We have ten levels. It's you know percentages. It's ten is default, right? Ten is ten is one hundred percent. It's fully on. That's what you start with, yeah. and you can tone it down and just play with it, see what you like. So this might be good if you're like a sniper player or something that you really wants to track exactly the target you want to track and don't want to get pulled off or anything like that. We did a lot of work yeah. to try to eliminate the the tracking problem, but occasionally there'll still be artifacts there. So if you're having problems, yeah, try turning it down. I would recommend sticking with 10 at first and then slowly bringing it down if you feel like it's too strong for your play style but i would definitely start with 10. yeah, yeah. Uh, and then we have shoulder buttons was a big one that people asked for you can go to legacy switch them you can go um, we have a, the sided option these are all available in single player as well and you can switch left or right which sides they're on in addition to front and back um 
Yeah, so those are what we have. If you want to can change any of the other ones, you want to change a square, triangle, or, or circle, or hell, if you want to change the D-pads or, or, or any of that, the options will exist for you to do that in the PlayStation operating system in the OS. There is a button remapping there. So that's what we've got for accessibility and control. You want to go to leaderboards? Let's do that. Then I'll move the party. Uh, Back up. Yeah, one more. Sorry. Okay, leaderboards. So, Robert, I think you cracked on these a lot, or no? Who was? Oh, well, it was Aaron. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> these are pretty simple. They're really basic. Uh, you know, we're hoping we might be able to do more with them in the future. But uh, for launch, we just wanted to make sure players could get their stats and they could compare themselves. Uh, so. We looked at a lot of different stats that we wanted to uh, to track and uh, different ways that players like to you know evaluate themselves. And so what you see here is kind of a like for team deathmatch, for example. Let's go actually go back into um, plunder since that's like mode we were just playing. Uh, so these are kind of the different uh, stats we have available for, for plunder. Like we talked about when we showed you the scoreboard, uh, you know we we separate objective score from offense score and support score. And so let's this lets you see how you do in terms of your score per minute in each of those categories. Uh, and it's sorted by the overall score per minute, uh, the total score per minute, which is, we think, you know, your best, uh, you know, evaluation of your overall contribution to the match. Uh, and then you can obviously, just like we talked about with the scoreboard, you can cycle with the L1, R1, you can tab in and look at just the specifics on your objective performance, or maybe you just look at your combat performance. Um, so this lets you see, you know, your average KOs per match, your average deaths per match. Uh, if you, you know, really care about, say, your support score because you're a really good support player and you'd like to, you know, compare yourself, then you can look at your support score per minute. Uh, you can look at your classic kind of KDRs type of uh, stat, which in this game is a combination of downs and KOs added together divided by your deaths. Uh, so here we can see we've got, um, actually, hold on, let's go to, let's go back to friends. Um, yeah, so we've got like, where's the account on this one? Is this, oh. Mm, it's not showing, it's like not even like Twitch. Yeah, I don't know why we're not showing on here. It's probably an artifact of this account we just created. Um, yeah, no matchmaking. But yeah, you can see the. Oh, no uh, matchmaking. Yes, of course, that's why, because yeah, your stats are only gets recorded in matchmaking, so we haven't actually played any matchmaking matches yet on this account. Um, but you can see the examples that you'd, you'd be seeing here. Um, cool. So yeah, so that's it. Uh, it's pretty basic, um, but we're looking at what we can do. And this is a little different from The Last of Us um, or Uncharted 3 in the sense that, again, it's sort of mostly by score per minute, and there's no way to modify that. There's no boosters that modify that, like there were caching games. So there's no way to like accelerate yourself. Like There's no leaderboard of loadout, if right. you will. Nope. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's really about your performance. Uh, cool. So somebody was asking about Uncharted TV. Um, we don't sh we don't have it up here because like, this is a brand new account. Um, but it comes on after you've played a few matches, and uh, we've added a few new features that weren't in the the beta and stress test. You can now uh, skip forward and back uh, in the playlist to so the different through the different movies. Um, and we're going to be rolling out soon uh, a web submission form, so you can submit your content to Uncharted TV, and we're really looking forward to all the cool stuff that the community is going to be creating. It's going to be a great way for us to showcase it. Uh, there's going to be a different, couple different um, ways that you can showcase your content. Obviously, just putting it on the, the main page as you, you know, is an option, um, but you'll also be able to show it uh, inside the loadout uh, menus, which is kind of an interesting way of showing off your content. So, uh, as you see, you know, we've, we've got a video showing here how to use the Wrath of El Dorado. Um, but this is, doesn't have to be just this preset video the whole time. We're going to be adding new videos here. So if you say are a player that really likes to, you know, show off a particular mystical or sidekick or a heavy weapon or something, uh, you, then you, you can submit your videos. And uh, if we if we choose them, we're going to feature them inside the loadout menus as well. Yeah. So players who are you know picking that item can get to see specific tutorials and uh, you know kind of best of and all the different kind of ways that you can show off a particular item uh, you know in there uh, yeah. players will be able to see that in the loadout menus yeah it's something we've always loved is seeing what players create and the videos they make and that's one of the reasons that we definitely wanted to get cinema mode back in to give you even more freedom to make these videos yeah uh, so that again we'll be coming back and please you know Make videos, send them to us. We, we love seeing these things. Is there a process for who they send them to? Or? Yeah, so that's what we're going to be rolling out uh, soon for launch. Uh, Arnie's been working really hard on that, and we're going to have a web submission forum that will allow people to uh, send us. Oh, some, you know. uh, cool. All right, so uh, do we have anything else for this stream that we're playing? Uh, We've got technically nine minutes to one. So
So do we have any more big questions to ask? we didn't cover? Do we go through that's a good point. Oh, I challenges. Actually, do we talk about challenges? Uh, do we want to show them the custom games to start? Um, that where custom game settings are? Yeah, are we sure. adding any more? Uh, more for the, well, the, the fact oh. we're talking about it, we should probably show Yeah, that. sure. <laughs> we can totally talk about it briefly. Uh, you know, the settings, a lot of people have been asking about it. Here they are. Uh, they're pretty basic to start. Uh, like Robert mentioned, we definitely want to try and expand. Uh, this on is these. far from done. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is far, far from done. They'll be coming out in patches. Some of them might be coming out in live updates. We don't know yet. Um, they'll be coming out, and we'll be working on this throughout the life of the game. If you have specific things that you really want to see, Get on our forums. Tell us. There it's... are no doubt some obvious ones that should be on here that aren't yet. But yeah. uh, we'll be adding them soon. For example, the fact of playing a custom game without radar. That's forthcoming. Sure. Yeah. Some yeah, things are a little harder than others. Some things are in code. Some things are in script. So just yeah. tell us. We'll get to them. Most of the things that were on the request list uh, when we saw requests were actually things that we had on our own list that yeah. we yeah. wanted to get to. And it's really a question of just the tech time uh, to get there. So it's something we hope to expand in the future. Um, cool. So I think that pretty much wraps it up. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Any more last questions? Anything big? No? Okay. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you yeah. for coming and watching. Thanks a lot, guys. Again, um, we'll we'll post this up, archive this up soon. So if you came late, please get your information. Just watch it a little. Uh, or go to the Naughty Dog, or the, sorry, the PlayStation blog post detailing our, um, DLC our modes and our roadmap. Yeah. So sure. You can also send tweets to Aaron Daly. Uh, <laughs> any, questions, any, any questions at all. At the Twitter account, which is not existing. Yeah, <laughs> send, the, send any questions to Aaron Daly's Twitter account. Yeah. And we'll see you on May 10th. Cheers. See you online. Yep. See you online. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. We were meant for this, Nathan. You, me, together. We were destined for something great. For those who prove worthy, paradise awaits. It took a long time for him to get out of this game. Yeah, he's meant for this life. Oh, oh, crap! Last I checked, we're all a bunch of thieves digging around where we shouldn't. Shame we're not on the same side. I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. So, are you ready to seek your fortune? Hang on, Nathan! Where is the artifact? That's I made a promise that I was done with this life. How long have we been chasing this thing? Long time. Real long time. Just you and me. <laughs> no offense to these guys, but they don't get it. If you're done lying to me, then you should stop lying to yourself. The biggest pirate treasure of all time is within our grasp. Watch out! Look, Nate, I'm gonna make you a one-time offer. Drop everything. Go home. Live your life. Or we can just end it right here. There's gotta be another way. I need you on this one. Ah! Ever wonder, like, different choices, how we might have ended up. No. I like the hand we've been dealt. PlayStation.